All right, folks, we're here today because I'm going to convert the cable uh, mechanical speedo on my uh, Toyota here uh, to an electronic signal. So this, um, this car has got a bit of a uh, surprise under the bonnet. And um, so I've got a Garrett Turbo on a 4AG motor, um, period correct mods and, and all that sort of stuff. And back here, uh, I've got a couple of plugs here. I've got one for reverse and one for speed signal. So I'm running a Haltech um, engine management, uh, Haltech Elite engine management, and I need speedo input to do boost by gear. Um, uh, so uh, this car obviously uh, does not have ABS sensors or wheel speed sensors or anything like that. It's got a good old mechanical speedo. So I still want my mechanical speedo to work, but I want the Haltech, which is hidden in there, uh, to know how fast I'm going so I can do some sort of rudimentary boost control or uh, sort of other, other functions out of it. Um, so what I'm gonna do is um, show you what I've got as a solution. Now, uh, there was a model of uh, Toyota MR2, which came out in the earlier MR2s where they had a cable adapter where they would screw into uh, the end of the gearbox and intercept the cable um, and then output a digital signal. Now, what I've found is that uh, there is a little device sold by a company that uh, makes uh, rally sort of uh, time trial stuff. Um, the company is called Terra Trip. And what they make is this uh, little signal generator here, which does exactly the same as what that standard Toyota system does. Uh, but the way it works is it intercepts the actual cable. So you have to modify your cable slightly and um, uh, then insert this guy in the cable. So what we're gonna do today is uh, modify a cable and set this up uh, so that we have a digital output and then uh, I'll run the wires up uh, to my plug. So what we've got here is ground and then a power and a signal wire. So this should output a 12 volt signal and uh, because I'm running a Haltech, I can uh, modify the, the input or calibrate that input to do what I want. So the first thing is gonna be is uh, to get underneath the car. Okay, so here we have our uh, transmission. This uh, transmission is a uh, Toyota W58 transmission uh, from uh, Supra. So here is where the cable output usually is for the speedo drive. I've got a 90 degree uh, fitting on mine because you know, there's uh, space constraints, obviously. So if we come around here, this here is the cable that goes all the way up, up to the dash. Now, there is a metallic sleeve with a plastic uh, cover on it, and there's a little, um, uh, like a springy cable that goes inside this. Um, so what we wanna do, and I'm gonna do this on the car without removing the cable, um, we want to get to the little uh, drive that's in between there. And what happens is this, this device here will go in line of this cable. So what the idea is, is that you uh, cut a piece out of the cable and you insert this and then the cable drive still goes through this device and then along the cable all the way up to the speedo so it doesn't interrupt your mechanical drive for your speedo and it um, then outputs a uh, signal wire as well. So what I'm gonna do first is measure how much of the, uh, the cable we're gonna need to cut and then slowly go from there. Okay, so here's our uh, electronic adapter. And what I'm gonna do is just uh, take these locking sleeves off and I'm going to measure this guy here. So we've got 40 millimeters. Um, I'll just hold that that way so you, you can see it. So we've got 40 millimeters. So that's the amount that we're going to have to take out of the physical uh, cable sheath uh, of the drive itself. 
So when we have uh, this guy here, the, the way it works, I'll just show you. Okay, so the way it works is uh, when we uh, cut the cable, we insert these onto the uh, end of the cable with this uh, locking uh, piece here as well. So uh, that ma makes it an adapter pretty much. And then this guy screws on there. And what you'll have is another one for the other side. And then that goes together. And this is what will um, go into your cable. And, and your cable will obviously come out of this side and, and this side. So, so you'll see this device literally sitting in the cable. Um, so they've also got uh, this particular kit has this gasket in there as well, which goes on the inside of this. So when that goes together, um, uh, I guess not as much water gets in there. So let's go and install it. So with 40 millimeters, we've got to take out of the cable. Um, and I'm pretty sure we can do this on the car and um, we'll uh, just start uh, hacking at it, hey? Okay, the first thing I've got to do is uh, remove this mechanical drive out of the speedo, 90 degree. Uh, and then undo this guy from that. And what we have here is, you can see this speedo drive here. And you can just really just pull it out. And this itself is um, uh, got a spline bit that goes into the speedo drive itself. So we don't want to uh, cut this bit because this bit is what slides through our, our sensor here. So if you can see uh, that would go through there and there's little uh, locks on it that we would um, uh, lock those off. Okay, so now that our cable has been relieved and um, we've pulled the drive out of it, the best spot for my setup is going to be to mount this guy up here because I have a, a, uh, a thread in my chassis. I can make a, a bracket uh, for this little guy later on. Um, so I'm going to uh, cut my cable probably just here, around about here, but I've got some masking tape that I'm going to put on this cable and I can mark the 40 millimeters out of it there. So just got a texture and what I'm gonna do is, let's just say, I'll mark that guy there and then I measure 40 millimeters just there. And that itself is how much I need to take out of this uh, cable sheath. So I'll just get the grinder and I'm just gonna knock that off now. All right, so we're back at the bench and what I'm gonna do is take this bit off here now on the bench. Okay, so we've got our section of our cable fully taken away. So you can see we're left with a little spot there, which is where the drive cable goes. So, sorry. Um, so this particular cable, right, is a bit larger than what these uh, little guys are, right? So you can see that there, sorry. Um, so what we need to do is take the uh, cable sheathing away and um, then this will fit over the top and um, it will be all like really neat. So I think what's going to happen is that I'm just going to uh, split this one open and then slide it over and then there are clamps that go on it and the clamps hold this guy onto the cable. So you can see, hang on, I'll just get, it's not gonna focus. <laughs> so 
You can see how there's a little uh, rollover on there. That's so that it grabs on the cable sheath itself. Okay, so I've taken a little bit away from here and essentially what needs to happen is this needs to go on first. Then we need our collar and then a little supporting piece to go through it needs to push till it comes to the end just like that so that when it meets up to this guy this is what we are going to achieve so we put our locking collar down here all we're going to need to do is uh, do this hose clamp up and then that's part of our drive cable done Okay, so to prep this, I've already fed the, uh, the drive cable through the sheath, and then I need to put it uh, through the signal generator, like so. And that's the point where you remember that you've forgotten the rubber washer, so I'm just gonna put that on. So now that we've got the rubber washer on, we can get the end of our drive cable, and we just feed it up inside of the cable sheath where hopefully it just goes up into the back of the speedo drive and this will come together now there are some little grub screws on there that go into the cable you have to be very very careful with these grub screws i'll just show you how i went uh, putting it together so these little grub screws uh, are turned by the supplied Allen key on this kit and they um, pretty well. Okay, so once we've hooked up to our Haltech, uh, where I'm using the um, Haltech NSP for mine, we just turn the car on, and then the easiest way with NSP is to go into here and type in vehicle speed, and it will bring it up. So you want to go to the wiring, and we want to, uh, I'm using DPI 1, so I've enabled it to there. Then we go up to our vehicle speed, and the first thing you've got to do is enable it. So usually it's blanked out like that. So we've got to enable it, and then it'll bring up all this red stuff. So when you do that, that's where we go into here, and we select our DPI-1. We're frequency-based, so then we're into vehicle speed. So what happens down here is you will go to 60 kilometers an hour, and hit the calibrate. Now we haven't calibrated it yet, but um, this is on, just based on the, uh, the standard settings. So what I've got here is a window open for the vehicle speed. I'm gonna run the engine. All right, so I'm going to put in gear, twin plate life, and then off the clutch, and I've got vehicle speed. So from there we would road test this and um, basically go to the calibration speed of 60 k's an hour and then hit calibrate and then we should be calibrated and that'll be it and from there we can do advanced functions like um, uh, boost by gear because it does assumed gear based on uh, vehicle speed versus rpm and you can tune it to uh, gearing and stuff like that but that's uh, how we set that up Okay, so what we got on here? We've got calibration. How much yeah. speed we got? Uh, about 47 k's at the moment. All right, you call it. All right, keep going. 55, 59, 61. All right, wait for it. 60, all right, calibrating. All right. All right. So we're doing about 60 k's now. It's 359 pulses per kilometer. All right, so just check it again. Something else? Well, we can still see it's going up. So we're 73. 